welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm super excited for today's video we are going to finally be getting my bedside or baby girl's bedside nursery ready i don't know if you guys can see but i have that diaper cart already built and i just have like random stuff thrown on it that i have been using these past couple weeks but it is definitely time to make this whole section right here dedicated to baby girls. So we are going to be organizing and filling up that diaper cart with a whole bunch of her necessities. I'm going to be cleaning out this right here and um, maybe putting some necessities in there as well. And then building her bassinet and setting all of that up. Don't mind my looks and the lighting is really horrible. It is a rainy day today. So unfortunately, there's no really natural lighting in here. And I've been having tons and tons of Braxton Hicks all day today. So we are kind of just going to be taking it slow, taking it easy, and getting this room ready for baby girl's arrival. So I'm going to just give you guys a little overview of this section right here. So I just have literally everything dumped in here right now, like random stuff i have my like breast pump on here as well i have some of the things that i'm gonna need in here but some of this definitely has to go and obviously it has to get organized and then as for this it definitely has to get dusted off i have just random stuff on here and random stuff in here um that is like a disaster i'm gonna set you guys up right here and what i'm gonna do first is just kind of go through the diaper cart and my nightstand and just take anything out that's like really just unnecessary i want to make this space as clutter free as possible because middle of the night changes middle of the night feedings all of that like i don't want clutter and mess everywhere so i'm gonna just start um, rehoming some of these things. how I want everything I have like tons of cables and electronic stuff on the bottom <laughs> little glass container which I have one of my favorite necklaces on here that says mom and then I just have um, some essential oils which I love rubbing on you know the inside of your palm behind your ears on your neck things like that and just smelling this so I'm gonna keep this in here my airpods and then just two chapsticks so I can have that at easy reach this other stuff has to go like these are old why well, don't I have sticky notes in there cough drops I mean I guess these could come in handy I'll leave my cough drops in there because I do use those the second I start feeling any type of anything I'm like <gasps> my cough drops <laughs> so I'll leave those and then of course I have my my poster on top and my nipple butter is gonna go in my cart do i have to take anything out i don't think so i think that's good this candle can go somewhere else and i think also um i think i'm gonna move this lamp out of here I'm gonna have the Hatch sound machine up here, which works as like a nightlight as well. So I think I'm gonna take this out of here 
um, to just give me some more space. Plus, it's very dusty. It collects dust so easily, especially because I have cats. So, okay, right now all I have is my coaster on here, which is perfect. We have a blank, a blank slate to add everything that we need to add. And um, I'm gonna go into the nursery now and just get everything that I want inside of my diaper cart, like diapers, wipes, um, all of my pumping supplies, extra swaddles. I'm gonna just get a big basket, throw everything in there, and then bring it into this room so that we can go ahead and organize that um, in here together. And then I'll show you guys all of like the supplies and all of the things I'm really gonna be like putting in there. Okay, so I brought a whole bunch of things from like um, bins, like organization bins right here. And then I kind of just brought a whole bunch of stuff. So right now what I'm gonna do is kind of put everything into sections first, like diapering, um, clothing, and then like boob stuff, like pumping stuff, breast pads, nipple butter, all that thing, all that type of stuff, just so I can have everything in separate piles so I can kind of see what's going on. And then I also brought the hatch, which I'm gonna connect and leave that there. sections up here I'm gonna just kind of play around with these um, with all of these different types of organizational little cubbies that I have and just see like kind of what is gonna fit where or like work best okay I think I kind of know what I want to do so the top one is obviously going to be diapers just because you're going to be needing tons and tons and tons of diapers in the beginning. So I just have size newborn, of course. I love the way diapers smell. And I don't know if I want to put them up or sideways. I guess I'll put them sideways so that it's easier. And I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna just put one pack for now. And then I'm also gonna stick the pack in here that they give at the hospital. I'm also gonna try to stick that in here. So. Let's hope. that was only a pack of what I'm not sure these small packs 31 so that's not going to last very long okay and then I put that okay so only one pack of wipes is going to fit in here but I do want two packs of wipes in the room just in case I do run out so this is where the nightstand comes in handy I see a lot of people removing their nightstand and replacing it with this diaper cart but um, I think that the nightstand is gonna come in handy for overstock and things like this like if you want to put another pack of diapers in there um, that'd be perfect or if you want to put like your extra pack of wipes that would also be perfect 
So that is what I'm going to do. I have this tiny little cube organizer and I am the things that I have right here off like the top. Um, a lot of her stuff is still like things like the nail, nail file and like little things like that. I didn't want to put that in here just because I'll probably do that like in her nursery or like after before bath time things like that like in her room this is just going to be solely what i feel like i might need in the middle of the night because i do have a one story so i'm not like this isn't going to be something that i take with me around the entire house i mean it can be if i go to the living room but my purpose is not putting everything on here my purpose is keeping it very minimal and stick to the things that I really think that I can possibly need so things like that are gonna be um I am using a and I'm gonna be using a and d diaper cream for the most part on here but I have a big huge tub of it and um that's gonna stay in her nursery so for her diaper cart I just got this little travel size Dustin um, in one of my like free registry packets. So I'm gonna just put this Dustin diaper cream in here. And then I also have um, Wendy's um, just in case she gets like super gassy in the middle of the night. And I'm, you know, just trying to figure that out. I also have another pack in her nursery so that I won't have to be going too much back and forth like if it's on here um i have her thermometer just in case this is the only thermometer i have so um i am gonna put it in here just because i feel like i don't know fevers i feel like normally happen at night time so um i'm gonna keep her it's a the frida baby thermometer it's like the three in one it does rectal mouth and under the armpit but for the mouth one i think they have to be over a certain age so i'm probably going to be using it in her armpit um so yeah i'm gonna put that in there and then i have just these little again if she gets gassy i have this little remedies gas relief drops and then some saline spray and drops which leads me to my next thing i have the freedom mom nose sucker so um they recommend to use this with some type of saline spray these are just like little tiny travel size i got these in a pack for my baby shower so um but i'm sure they make like bigger ones but yeah i think this is like the perfect little size to just have right here by the bedside so i have the snot sucker and then I also have a little thing of the snot sucker refills just in case. The pack that I got did come with, um, or not refills, um, filters. It came with another big thing of filters, but I'm going to leave this in the nursery because I just I don't, I don't need that. It's not like I'm going to use it 10 times in one night. So this one has, I think, three, yeah, it has three refills in here um so i think that'll be perfect i'm gonna put that in there and then i also have vitamin d drops because i am going to be breastfeeding um if you're breastfeeding you do have to give vitamin d just because breast milk doesn't have um enough vitamin d for your i don't i don't even know <laughs> what I'm saying I'm just babbling at this point and then I'm also gonna throw extra pacifiers in here um okay perfect so right here we have diapers I try to organize them as best as um possible it was like a little textures moment but I have one pack of newborn diapers then I have some wipes in here and again I have the extra wipes right there just in case and then inside of this little 
um, cubby organizer that I got. Sorry, I'm like on my ball if you guys hear it making weird noises. This little organizer is from Ikea. Um, it came in a big pack and this is what I use to organize her clothes. But I just saved an extra one because I knew I wanted to use it on this cart. So again, really quick overview. Dustin, thermometer, gas drop, saline spray, vitamin D. Um, the snot sucker with extra filters windy and then just two pacifiers just in case i'm keeping it very very minimal and not like too too cluttered in there i don't want tons of stuff so i have the haka the haka lid i have the silverette nipple um nursing cups um i have the frida mom lactation massager then I have my Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter, um, Kindred Bravely. These are reusable breast pads. I'm like having the biggest brain part of my life right now. And then I have my LV Stride. Um, so I definitely wanna take this out of the box and kind of organize. So I have this organization thing. Um, and I think I might do all of my LV pump parts in here, just so that I can have all of those in one little compartment and then everything else. pads that I'm gonna keep in this packet just because I like how it keeps them just all together and I'm sure I'm gonna need tons of these in the middle of the night so I'm gonna put that there okay I'm also gonna keep these instruction manuals and put them in here I'll eventually take those out, um, but since I'm not too, too familiar with it yet, I'm definitely going to keep that with the pump parts just in case I need to like, I'm like, wait, I don't know how to use this so I can like read about it super quick. And then Silverette actually reached out to me and sent me these and one of my friend who breastfeeds uses these and she says they're absolutely lifesavers. So I was so excited when they um, asked if they can send me some. I can't wait to try it out. I wish I had scissors so I can open this. And then of course, my nipple butter. Now I'm gonna work on my third shelf and then I'll show you guys what both of those look like. Ooh, I was contemplating even putting extra outfits in here just because if she does have a blowout, I'm probably gonna have, I'm gonna take her to her nursery to like, fully fully change her but I don't know I see so many put people put clothes on here in their diaper car so I was like you know what maybe it'll come in handy so I just got a few few pieces um nothing too much I just everything is size newborn again but yeah I have this sleeper which I plan on having her in sleepers for nighttime um and then I just have a short sleeve onesie one long sleeve onesie and then one pair of pants so pretty minimal and then i just have two pairs um of socks and then the love to dream swaddle and then i have two muslin burp cloths and I'm also going to be trying out diaper inserts for birth cloths. I hear tons of good things because they're so extremely absorbent. So I'm going to be trying these out as burp cloths as well. Um, so I just have two and two just because I don't know which ones I'm going to like 
more and I feel I feel like these should go on the top because when I see they're like but there's no not really space in the top so they're just gonna have to go on the bottom which I mean and then I'm also gonna make a snack section because I always hear people saying that those middle of the night feedings they love snacks so I see some people doing a snack section on their diaper cart but I didn't want to take up a whole spot on the diaper cart for that so again that is where the nightstand um comes in there's still tons and tons of space in here I'm probably going to put a basket and just fill it with probably just little snacks like protein bars granola bars maybe some lactation cookies cheese it's goldfish just little things that i can just grab and snack on in the middle of the night that are like non-perishable um i'll probably have a little basket in here for that okay so here in the second one we have all of my lv stride pump parts as well as the instruction manual since i don't know much of it um yet i have the haka right here my breast pads um and it's gonna be like this and then i have my nipple butter right here my lactation massager and then my silverette and then on the bottom i have her extra outfits and socks that i showed you guys this love to dream swaddle which she's gonna be in at night anyways so it's really it's not gonna be in there and then i have the muslin burp cloths and the diaper insert burp cloths so i can see which one of those i'm gonna like more oh my god i'm out of breath now for the fun part yay we have to build her bassinet i got i don't know if you can see this box is way too big i have the four moms um mama roo bassinet super heavy. okay so i've got it open and i think i have all the pieces right here instruction manual okay perfect <laughs> Alright guys, so I think it's been two weeks since I last gave you guys an update. Last time you guys saw, we were building this bassinet. Here it is. And here is my full little corner section. I just wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of the finished product. So of course you guys saw me built the diaper cart and organize all of that. And then one thing you guys actually didn't see, which I really wanted to let you guys know, was I bought a mini fridge off of Amazon and I stuck it right there. And I think that's going to come super um, handy in those middle of the night feeding sessions. So I could just pop my haka in there or um, put some of my breastfeeding breast pump parts in there in the middle of the night so I don't have to get up and walk all the way towards the kitchen which is across the house so um i just wanted to let you guys know that was a little tip i got that on amazon and it was actually super cheap and it's like the perfect size for bottles and pump parts and here is our bassinet so this is what our little bedside nursery looks like my bed is currently looking crazy we need to wash all the sheets and everything one last time before baby girl gets here but i hope you guys enjoyed my little bedside nursery setup 
and let me know if you guys do something similar or if you guys did something similar or maybe what you guys did different and um, just leave me some tips and comments down below and let me know maybe some things that you guys recommend switching around or changing or adding or whatever you guys think is necessary. I am a first time mom, so this is just what I think I'm gonna be needing based off of all of my research, but definitely let me know if you guys have any experience um, down below. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video, bye.